I've got a little bit of a casual one for you today, guys, but just wait until you see the box. Today, I've got the Nike Air Force One Low Vintage Green. Now, these are from the Notebook Doodle Pack. I am just going to call these the Vintage Greens. Just makes it a little bit easier for myself. But let's get straight into this pair and check them out. Now before we get any further into this video, these released on the 30th of September. Now the retail is £120, but they're already in the sale at Zalando for £85 and £89 at Foot Locker. Now I'm not sponsored by any of those companies, I wish I was, but I'm not. But if you are liking this one and you're from the UK, I'm not sure if they ship internationally, they might do. But if you are liking this one, look, it's a must cop. Pause this video right now, and honestly, you can get this one in the sale. It's just such a clean colorway. Now, if you're not a fan of these vintage greens, there is actually two colorways in the Notebook Doodle Pack. Nike have released a light British tan version. Now, these are in the sale as well at ASOS. I've managed to find them for £96. Now, again, I'm not sponsored by ASOS. I'm not sponsored by any of these retailers. I wish I was. But if you're a fan of this light British tan colorway, ASOS currently £96. Now, you're probably asking yourself straight away, why is this pair called the Notebook Doodle Pack? You know, from first glance, there's no doodles on this pair. There's no graffiti on this pair. It's all about this inner soul. Now, look, I can only vouch for the UK because obviously I went to school in the UK. I, I didn't go to school in the US. But there's loads of little sort of doodles that you'd find in science books. You'd find them on school desks, underneath school desks, especially this S. Obviously, they've used this S to write swoosh. But it's just really different. I'm kind of liking it. I'll show you the inner sole a little bit more when we do like a full review, we do the close-ups, but that is the reason this one is called the Notebook Doodle Pack. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never really been the biggest fan of Air Force One Lows until I picked up this pair, this black University Gold colorway. I think these just look so clean. It's got that sort of gold trim. Now, for the outfits and the clothing that I wear, these just look so nice with those sort of black tapered cargos. I'm a massive fan of this pair. I always find myself wearing this pair. You know, it's perfect for sort of winter conditions. I'm not going to compare this one to the vintage greens because the lining and the comfort is just a little bit different on this pair. So we are going to have to compare them with my beaten Air Force One lows. Now, they're not that bad. I've seen, obviously, a lot worse pairs, but we are going to obviously compare it to these. Now, the comfort is exactly the same as an Air Force One low, just a, a the white version. So the vintage greens, the comfort, exactly the same. The lining is also exactly the same. I'm gonna show you a few close-ups just so you can see what I mean. I am sorry, because obviously these are a little bit beaten. I've seen worse, I've seen worse, but yeah. Look at the lining. As you can see, it's just exactly the same. The fit and feel is just exactly the same as you expect to find on an Air Force One low. Sizing, also exactly the same. I've always gone true to size on Air Force One lows. I've never had any issues. I know some people will tell you to go a half size up. I know some people will tell you to go a half size down. For me personally, I've always gone true to size. They fit me absolutely fine. Now the toe box and the side paneling are both leather. On the vintage greens, it's actually like a sail leather. Obviously on this pair, it's just all white. The leather quality is exactly the same. You know, I've got to be honest, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It is a stiff leather. You know, if you've picked up a pair of Air Force One lows before, you know that with these, you're going to have to wear them in. You know, it's not really known for being the most comfortable shoe ever. Give it a couple of weeks, you know, a couple of weeks, a couple of wears. The more you wear them, the more comfortable they're going to be. It's a comfortable enough shoe, but you know what I mean. You know, some of you have picked up a pair of Air Force One Lows before. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. 
The more you wear them, the more comfortable they're going to get. Now, something I got asked a lot in the previous Air Force One Low video was, do I think they're going to crease? You know, are they going to crease over time? Air Force One Lows are notoriously known for creasing, especially down that toe area. As you can see here on my dusty Air Force One Lows here, my example pair, you can see their crease down the toe area. It's something you've got to take into consideration. You can prolong it a little bit with crease protectors. Now, I picked these up from Amazon. They were like three or four pounds. You are going to trade comfort though for less creases because obviously this is like a it's like a plastic casing so obviously you're not going to have the leather down the toe area it's obviously going to be this instead that's what your sort of toes are going to feel is it worth it i'll leave that up to you you know air force one lows are known notoriously for you guys absolutely battering them and then just replacing them you know you ruin these and then you just buy a new pair so it's up to you whether you want to wear crease protectors or not i'll leave that with you you know obviously they're going to prolong them. They're going to make this pair look a little bit crisp long term, but it's going to make this pair less comfortable. So the choice is yours. I want to show you this box. So we're going to do an unboxing. We'll get some close-ups of the shoe and then we'll cover all areas. Starting off with the box. Now it is a move to zero box. It does have that engraved Nike logo on the top of the lid. Now have any of you ever wanted to turn your Nike shoe box into a plant pot or a pot to put your stationery, your pens, your pencils, your rulers? Now you can with this move to zero packaging. Will I be doing it personally? No, I've got no interest in doing that. But if you ever did want to do it, I know some of you TN fans are dying to do this right now. If you've ever wanted to do it, there's instructions inside the box. You've got a little cut out here and then you can fold some of the box up and make a plant pot or a pot for your pens and pencils. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave that one with you. Of, uh, if that's something you ever feel that you want to do, you can now do that with these move to zero boxes. Now fresh out the box, as you can see, there's not too much going on with this one. Hopefully we can just fly through this pair. What we'll do, we'll start with the outer sole. Now the outer sole is all green. It's sort of like a military or army green, but it does have this slight speckled effect to it. Sort of like white speckles, but it is just that signature Air Force One outer sole. No changes there. And then moving on to the midsole. The midsole itself is an off-white color. It's not quite sale. It is an off-white. And it does have this speckled effect to it. Now the speckled effect on the midsole reminds me of uh, gobstoppers or jawbreakers. If you're from the US, you may not know what I'm talking about. I'll leave a photo of them in that top corner. But it does sort of have that gobstopper speckled effect on that midsole. I'm kind of liking it though. It is kind of clean. These are made from, I believe, 20% recycled materials. So that could also be why this has a speckled effect for the outer sole and the midsole. Now on the heel area of the midsole, you do have the traditional Nike Air branding. And you've also got that line separation. The line works its way to the back of the shoe. Now the back of the shoe, the heel tab is actually made of velvet suede. It's sort of rough to the touch. It's not quite as soft as like a premium suede. It is listed as a velvet suede. I'll just do some close ups just so you can see the material there. Now that is the same material for the swoosh. Now they are in sort of a dark green color. And you've also got this black outlining. Here's just a bit of a close up of that swoosh. As you can see, it's like a fluffy velvet material. Also a close up of that heel tab. Moving on to the canvas overlays. The canvas overlay is listed in a vintage green. It is a very light green. I am kind of liking this neutral colorway. I'm liking the, the sail leather and I'm also liking these overlays. Kind of does go really well together. I can definitely see myself wearing this one as like a smart casual wear. Something with jeans, something with cargoes as well. Now the paneling and also the toe box are in this light sail color. Now just a separate segment, as I've mentioned earlier in the video, look, Air Force Ones are prone to creasing. Something you want to take into consideration. I know most of you aren't going to care about creases on your shoes. I don't really care on Air Force Ones personally, but obviously if you are someone that wants to buy shoes that are sort of prone less to creasing, I'd probably go for more mesh base rather than leather, or you can sort of limit creases a little bit by getting those crease protectors. So now I've covered the side paneling and I've also covered that toe box. You've also got these sail laces that do match the leather. I'm kind of liking the sail laces. You could maybe swap these for white, but I do think as it's a neutral colorway, Sail laces do go really well with this pair. And let's not forget the traditional Air Force One silver branding at the bottom of the laces. And then moving on to the eyelets, as you can see, they're sort of stitched in. It does add a little bit of extra detail on this one. You know, in comparison to like my, uh, my dusty Air Force Ones, these are quite a visible hole. 
So I am liking that little bit of extra detail. Just makes this one look a little bit more tidier, a little bit more clean. But the tongue itself is in that same green canvas used for the overlays. At the top of the tongue, you've got a sail tongue tab with the Nike Air branding in more of that sort of dark green. I'm going to be honest with you, the padding, it's, it's a little bit thin. It is a little bit thin, but it's exactly the same padding as what you'd find on a regular pair of Air Force Ones. There really is no changes for comfort on this pair. Now here's just a separate segment, just so you can see the inner soles. The inner soles are in this sort of off-white color. And this one, as I've mentioned previously, is called the Doodle Pack. And you can see all the doodles there. I'm not going to sort of read all of them out, but most of them do just say swoosh. You've got just do it. There's a few bits of writing there as well, just obviously showing where it was designed, when it was designed. I'll do some close-ups. Just so you can see those inner soles. I'll do this one as well, just in case you want to see it. But yeah, I'm liking the inner sole. I mean, your feet are going to be touching these anyway, so you're not really going to see it. But it is just a nice touch. Something a bit different. Finish off and just show you that sail lining. As you can see the padding, exactly what you'd expect to find on a pair of Air Force Ones. The heel area is nice and padded. The ankle support, not quite as padded, but it's comfortable enough. You can definitely wear these eight hour shift at work. They're gonna be comfortable. And then we'll finish off with a 360, just to make sure I've covered absolutely everything on this pair. It's a pretty simple colorway. This video is just to give you a rough idea of what this one looks like, the materials, if this one's comfortable, you know, where you can get this one in the sale. I've got to say my final verdict, it's a really clean colorway. It is a really clean colorway. Now that pretty much covers this one. Now look, I've been reviewing a lot of vibrant colorways recently, so it is actually quite nice to have something a little bit more toned down, a little bit more chilled. I've got to say the vintage green and the sale work together really well. I can see myself wearing these with cargos, with shorts, you know, with joggers, with jeans. They do go with a lot of different outfits and the colorway is really nice. Don't forget you can get both these pairs in the sale, but I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, cheers.